Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be reviewing the Blitz Wolf uh, selfie stick. So I've been doing quite a bit of searching for a good selfie stick. I've gone through about three or four different models. Um, I'm going to review a couple of them. Um, and I ended up buying one that was very similar to this Blitz Wolf one and uh, sending it back, regrettably so because I thought maybe I could get a cheaper one, one that was less expensive. I remember the Blitzwolf was, um, well, the comparable one, it was a, an unbranded Blitzwolf, but I mean, you know, they're all the same, just different, you know, brandings from different manufacturers, but they're probably all made in the same facilities. So the one I bought was exactly the same, except the Blitzwolf one, this one right here, has the, uh, the camera mount as well. It's got the little screw in, uh, the screw uh, capability. I'll show you that in a second. Whereas the one that I prior, the previous one that I had was strictly a uh, iPhone or smartphone uh, clamp. Um, so I'll show you that. I'll show you the differences that between the Blitzwolf one and the one that I had. Um, and the Blitzwolf actually ended up being a little bit less expensive because there's some sort of coupon that you can apply when you check out. Uh, the coupon is available on Amazon. I don't know how long they're running it for. You know, this product is not sponsored. I purchased this on my own with my own money. Um, and I find it to be one of the best selfie sticks slash tripod stands available uh, today. Um, right now, Amazon is littered with hundreds of different selfie sticks. And, um, you know, you don't know what you're buying. Like, there's a whole bunch of them with like a thousand five-star reviews. And it's garbage because I bought a couple of them and they absolutely were terrible. Um, and I'll have another video up shortly of another selfie stick that was very highly rated, but is complete junk. Um, so, let me go without further talking, and I will show you the Blitzwolf BW-BS10 Sports. Um, so this selfie stick is actually a very well-constructed selfie stick. Um, I find it to be one of the nicest looking ones available. Um, so just right off the bat, you get the selfie stick. The remote, you get a remote that um, is Bluetooth uh, powered. And what it does is it charges the remote control versus some of the other selfie sticks that operate off of one of those button batteries, which is really nice. So you don't really have to charge it often. You charge it once, maybe, I don't know, every few months, every year. I mean, you know, it holds a charge. It'll click through like thousands of pictures before you actually have to recharge the battery. And again, it's a matter of convenience. You know, the button battery probably lasts a while, but I mean, who really wants to go out and buy a button battery for a selfie stick? I mean, that's just a bit absurd. You know, so you get a user manual. I don't know, you get some sort of sad face, happy face. If you're happy, follow these instructions. If you're sad, follow these instructions, you know. So just little things here and there. And the selfie stick itself is right here. Now this thing is aluminum and plastic. It's got like this, you know, shiny, uh, anodized looking metal on it. This is the remote right here. Pulls out just like that if you need to uh, set up the tripod and then take pictures remotely. You know, if you want to set your stand up far away, you want to do a group shot, you click the button, click the remote, and again, it's Bluetooth. It is compatible with iPhone 11, uh, 10X, uh, you know, 8, 7, you know, pretty much any Bluetooth phone, I would assume, is going to be compatible with this. I have not had an issue yet. So basically what it does is you've got the tripod legs, which are really cool. So let me show you the, the selfie stick portion of it. So it fully extends like this. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Wrong way, wrong way. And there we go. I guess I cannot. But basically, this is the size of the selfie stick. It does extend longer. Okay, and then you would just basically swivel this up. And you take your picture. So you get that, and then you take your picture like that. And you got your selfie stick going just like that. You know, and then you can press the button, take the picture, whatever you want to do. All right. And then the tripod mount works a little bit differently. So the tripod mount is going to work pretty much like this. Okay. With all the feet separate out. And you see it's reinforced, which is nice, with these little arms, which makes it really, really stable. Like it doesn't bend, it doesn't flex, none of that stuff. Okay. 
and that's probably one of the nicer selfie sticks like i was saying um you know where you can just basically take pictures and you don't really have much to worry about so you know this again is really well built i find this to be one of the better selfie sticks available um you know there are some on the market like i said i'm going to review those eventually but for the most part if you're looking for a great selfie stick and so what i was talking about here is this you know this little knob nub sticks out like so and you can basically screw a um a uh, a camera like a camera mount like a tripod mount onto this But other than that, this is a great, great selfie stick. You know, here's a charge port for the actual um, for the actual uh, remote control. I don't know why it's not focusing? There we go. It's a little bit better. It's a micro USB, so it's not like some proprietary cord where if you lose it, you're you're done. It's a real deal micro USB port, so you don't have to really worry about it. Um, and it does it does a good job like this is you know, it's a solid sturdy unit You know, I am a Star Wars geek. So it kind of reminds me of a lightsaber even though it is not a lightsaber um, You know, but um, it does it does the job. It does a really good job of uh, holding your phone in place It doesn't rock. It doesn't tilt it um, does a really good job of keeping the phone sturdy even if it is top heavy So I have an 11 Pro Max and it is a heavy phone So once you fully extend that arm and if you want to tilt it down you know, it throws the, the center of gravity off on the selfie stick, but these feet make it just really, really sturdy. So um, I would highly recommend this selfie stick if you are in the market. It does run a little pricier. It's in the high $20 range. I would say like $28, $29. Um, but it is definitely money worth, uh, well spent versus some of the cheaper ones that you're going to pay like $18, $19 for, maybe $15. You know, in, in, in this market, this is definitely something, you know, you get what you pay for. And, um, you know, I, I do find this one to be slightly pricey, but for the amount of technology that you get with the Bluetooth remote that's rechargeable, the quality, the build, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a worthwhile investment. So hope you like this review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate it. Have a great day.